Hello ladies and gentlemen, Zeke Shadow here and welcome to Twilight Warrior with the slight bit of combination of mods from my part. I've been feeling like playing something of an oddity, something a little bit more tactical and maybe slightly more realistic, so I thought of playing this very particular mod. But, well, I checked out the weapons and they are actually quite very unsatisfactory. So, I took the chance to try to merge a very most interesting mod. Sid Doyle's Rainbow Six Raven Shield weapons. I think that was the name, yes, I think it was the name. Yes, indeed. That is indeed the name. So, as the name would suggest, it does a couple of things. Adding some very interesting realistic weapons to the mod. Doesn't exactly have any view sprites yet. Sid Doyle was planning on adding those. I even contributed some sprites to help, but it's, well, it doesn't have any time to update it. Probably some stuff in real life, as it would always happens. Anyway, yeah, we start in this training area, the killing room. Our objective are, are, is, is to simply Eliminate 35 terrorists hiding in this sector. Place here for some strange reason. Hi. Also, I, I'm using a couple of extra mods as well, you know, droplets and all that stuff. I'm also using the loadout rule, the Far Cry 2 loadout rule. Which means that I can carry a pistol, a primary weapon, a special weapon, and that's just about it. So it's uh, it it's balance. I wouldn't say it's completely unrealistic. It's balance of the sort. You could select uh, like a whole bunch of loadout rules. That means you can either carry everything or maybe carry one one of each. Also, if you haven't noticed yet, I added some appropriate soundtrack because well, the original Twilight Warrior simply has Doom music. Not exactly fitting, I would say. Also, even with the... Even with this mod, I have to tamper with it a little bit. I need... I have to remove the original custom monsters that Sid Doyle put in. The Rainbow Six mod itself actually has custom monsters. They replace the normal human enemies. Basically the exact same, except for one tiny thing. 9mm ammo only. Oh, hold on, then. let me just drop this weapon. Yeah, 9mm. I'll make sure to focus on that. Uh, semi semi auto, I'll take it. Hello there. Hello there. Let me just. Oh. Careful there. Watch your back. Don't forget to reload. Oh gosh. Down. Oop. Watch it. Anyone else? Come back here, you. Okay, there we go. Is that it? Nope, that's it. Anyway, back to my thoughts. Originally, Twilight Warrior has these enemies... Has these custom enemy sprites, but... They were actually still using normal everyday Doom enemy sounds, which means they basically just do all the demon, whoa, whoa, which is, um, I mean, not so fitting, I would say. I replaced them as well. Basically, this mod is, is just a whole bunch of compilations of hacked up stuff that I have in, just lying around in my mod folders. Very, very hacky, I would say. Anyway, yeah, that's that's it for this level. We immediately jump to our first ever mission, the Golden Triangle. Dead smack in the middle of a foresty area. Jungles and guerrilla fighters and no doubt, a whole bunch of ambushes. Let's see, MP5 or that? I forgot what the name of that gun is. It's the Beretta M12. Well, we used the MP5 before, so let's try using this out. Semi and full. I'll pick one. 
All right, hi there. You know, this mod has a very interesting health system, I would say. Uh, yeah, you might saw that one health point was restored to me. There we go, there's another one. It has semi-regenerating health. Now, normally I would go into a very spastic rage over such mechanics being put, but this mod has a very interesting setback to it. Basically, if your health is above 60 or 50, I'm not quite sure what just the specific threshold of it. Sure, your health will regenerate. So as long as you stay stay in cover, be careful, you'll be fine. But and this is a pretty pretty large and unfortunate but if you decide to be just a slightly bit careless and get your health below 40 or was it 30? You're going to start to bleed. Yes. You start losing blood rapidly at a very un very uncomfortable pace, which could lead to many bad things. So right now I'm just trying to be really extremely careful here, careful not getting too much hit. I mean, this may seem easy at first. After all, this is just the first mission, but believe me. Later on, when you have to fight like 150 enemies, all hiding in very obscure places, you'll appreciate the damage loss from not having the custom monsters enabled. Come back here, you. There we go. Oh. Okay, okay. There's a lot of people there. I remember the breach and clear maneuver. Throw grenade to a small room and such. There we go, got one. Hi there. Okay, I think that's our ob objective in this mission. Destroy drug and stuff. There we go. Another grenade for the occupants of this room. Okay. Another one down. Oh! A lot of people there. Uh, oh, hi there. Switch weapons. I'll take this pass for now. Hold on. Let me just open that switch. There we go. Good. Anything else? Oh, sorry. Also, I believe this mod has some kind of tilting system that has you your vision being a little bit wobbly when moving. I disabled some of the features because they were acting very strange to my system. Very strange indeed. Also, I, I, I felt really uncomfortable using the tilting thing. So, sure, maybe may seem a little bit wobbly right now, but it used to be worse. Believe me. Okay, you decide to come back into hiding. Not any more, good sir. Okay, and that should be it. Oh, there's a sniper there. Do I have any? No, I'm using this. I'm gonna ditch that. I will need the sniper for the next mission. No doubt. Oh, hi. Got shot there. Where are you guys coming from? I opened that door. Did you guys were just sneaking in? Clever sword. Okay, okay. Keep your heads down, lads. Keep your heads down. Oh, no, sorry. I, me I meant keep your heads up so I can shoot it. There we go. That's the key. I'm just... I'm hitting a chopper there. Also, one of the few reasons that I removed the monsters from this mod is so that the custom monsters can do their job. Okay, there we go. Chopper done. Shot an entire six buck shots into the pilot seat. No doubt any sort of choppers would have had quite a most unfortunate of fates if their pilots were shot down. I know, is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it for the golden triangle. Could have been better, I guess, with the whole time, but I suppose that's it for now. Moving on to the denied area.